attract clientele. My mic check is life or death, breathing the sniper's breath. I exhale the yellow smoke of Buddha through righteous steps. What is up, it is Fox and it is Thursday, October 4th. Welcome back to Foxy Games UK, your aggregate source of news, rumor, and video game discussion. Today we're using some gameplay for background footage and oldie but goodie until dawn. You can thank Nintendo for their draconian YouTube policies. That being said, let's get straight into some news, shall we? Now with so much PS5 and Xbox next generation speculation knocking around the internet, it was always going to be a matter of time before speculation surrounding a more powerful revised Nintendo Switch would be thrown into the 2019 ring. Now in terms of incredible software releases and potential next gen hardware reveals, 2019 is certainly gearing up to be one of the busiest times in gaming that I can remember for decades. As reported via Gamatsu.com, according to the Wall Street Journal, Nintendo is prepping and will introduce a new Switch model in the second half of 2019. Here's the full story. So rumor has it Nintendo will introduce a new version of its Switch console in the latter half of 2019 as early as summer, as reported by the Wall Street Journal, citing suppliers and others with direct knowledge of Nintendo's plans. Now the outlet reported that Nintendo is still debating with the new hardware and software features to include in the new model and weighing the cost of the features. One option is to improve the display, which currently uses a lower end LCD without some technologies that are standard in recent smartphone LCDs, but the new model is not expected to adopt the OLED panels used in Apple's iPhone 10. Okay, so it would be remiss of me not to cover and provide an opinion on this. So here's my thing. I woke up this morning to discover at least seven Nintendo-centric YouTube channels are reporting breaking news. First and foremost, only one outlet can actually claim to break news. Seven is a bit of a super stretch and disingenuous since a 2019 Switch revision slash upgrade rumor has been a thing for like six months or so now. And these same outlets reported it back then too. I know Foxy Games UK certainly did. Stating that it may well be that we see three new hardware reveals in 2019, potentially a dedicated PS5 reveal event for the first quarter. Largely depending on when Sony wants to release the beast, Xbox Next could very well receive a grand reveal during Microsoft's Xbox E3 2019 conference and in the second quarter, and if rumours are to be believed, a new, more powerful Switch revision will follow shortly thereafter. What an incredible year 2019 will be if it all lines up and into place, though Nintendo will have to be really extremely cautious about this. PS4 and Xbox One are approaching five years on the market, and their upgrades have had a fair few years on the market too, and the current model has only been on the market for Nintendo Switch really 18 months, give or take a few weeks. Any future software releases will need to be 100% fully compatible with older models. We can't have a situation like the 3DS revisions where some games were unplayable on older versions of the popular handheld. My guess is that the only radical changes we'll see will be in size reduction. Perhaps Nintendo will improve the uncomfortable feeling when using the Joy-Cons in portable mode for extended play sessions. They may well increase the GPU and CPU clock so we can play at higher resolution and less slowdown for current games, perhaps Nintendo have found a way to prolong battery life. Tighter security, that's important since the current model is a breeze to hack and a dedicated voice chat, really functionality at a system level would be nice too, right? Maybe Nintendo will make the next iteration of the Switch truly portable by completely ditching the dock and including a mini HDMI port so that the tablet itself can be made a tad smaller. I tweeted the same prior to recording this video. You know, it's funny, I recall loosely discussing a potential Switch upgrade at some point when I was a guest on Mads Gaming's Next Gen podcast, where we had a PS5 discussion some days ago. The video is also up on this channel if you'd like to take a look. I mentioned I'd be handing over my Switch to my four-year-old as soon as Nintendo dropped an upgrade. I didn't expect to be revisiting the discussion so soon, though. Now look, if you're a Nintendo Switch early adopter like me, or you just picked one up, I won't be too concerned about this rumor, really the revision making existing hardware obsolete. Though in typical fashion, a Nintendo spokesperson has declined to comment, but you can share your thoughts in this video's comments. As usual, a link to the following news article can be found in the video's description.
Share your thoughts and opinions on today's news because that unfortunately brings us to the end of another video. But let's continue the discussion in the comments. And for more regular PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and next-gen news updates, subscribe to Foxy Games UK. Remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss content. Thumbs up the video if you like the content and help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing this video. A massive thank you to all Foxy Games UK Patreon supporters. You know who you are. I really appreciate the support. And if you really like what I do, Show some love, support the cause, consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon. Or you could just snag yourself a Superfly Foxy Games UK branded tee or hoodie, available now in grey or white. And coming soon, militant military army green coloured options and a snapback baseball cap and other merchandise will also be coming soon, so stand by for more information on that. You'll find both Patreon and Foxy Games UK merchandising links in the video's description. Appreciate it. So there we have it. Until the next video, always remember play games, not corporations.